This is Viva 365. I'm Michael Jaff, joined by my panel of experts, Gary Ansel, Columbus, Ohio, Mark Burkett, Toledo, Ohio, and John Kaufman from Portland, Oregon. And now we're here to talk about the MIMICS two-year outcomes data. We actually saw the first presentation of MIMICS last year at Viva, and so now, John, we've got two-year data. What did you learn? Yeah, I mean, very interesting, Michael. This is a different stent. It's a biomimetic stent that's really meant to deal with curves. It was compared to the life stent, 75 patients, a two-to-one uh, randomization. Very dramatic difference in two years in the patency, 72% uh, roughly, or to about 50 or so percent in the life stent. And but that one to two-year sort of period, there were no instant restenoses or target lesion restenoses with a biomimetic stent, I think, and really notable, better performance in curved segments of arteries. So a really interesting take and sort of change in our thinking about stents. So Gary, you've actually had some experience looking at this. How do you, how do you put together the challenge of understanding swirling flow to actually outcomes like this, and where does this go from here? Well, you know, when I first saw the basic science part of it, it was really interesting, but I thought, oh, come on, how's it, you know, is this real? And then when they brought up the trial data, and, and not only did they have a better outcome, but they showed in certain, you know, in the curved areas that that right. was a better right. outcome. <laughs> I thought, well, now, what a nice, you know, start to the science to really, you know, prove a point, you know, in a disease vessel, not just in a normal vessel. Well, I think it leads us away from focusing so much on the wall and the intima and to thinking what the impact of the flow is in the, as well. And it, it's, a, it's a pretty complicated process. It's not, One of the things that I think is interesting is if you, if you turn the clock back a few years, when the life stent first became available, we thought, wow, this is really a flexible stent. And this just shows how much flexibility has changed over the last few years. So Mark, you've been doing a lot of clinical trials, both as a PI and as someone who enrolls in trials. Knowing what you saw now, two years, I think striking data, as John said, no TLRs from year one to year two, that's really impressive. What, what kind of trial would you like to see knowing that the bar has clearly been set higher now in vascular trials. What would you like to see? So I, th I think that's a great question. I think in this day and age, we can't ignore the, the uh, Zilver PTX data. And so a great trial that I would love to see would be a one-to-one -one randomization, Zilver PTX versus this newer uh, design of STEM. And truth is, we've got to collect cost-effectiveness data uh, prospectively. Right. Because without that, we'll still be dealing with the same challenges about getting devices to use for our patients. That's Viva 365.